Hello, how you doing, man? Uh, my name is Hamish, and thanks a lot for coming back. So, and another thing, I want to say thank you so much for all the people donated to the program. It's very, very important, you know, because, you know, it's a lot of things we do for the community. A part of home, you know, it's a lot of things we do helping community, I believe, you know, uh, checking all those kids who drop out of school, back to school, you know, educate them and give them knowledge because we believe knowledge is power, you know, so just thank you so much for your donation. You think it's maybe one dollar or fifty cent or two dollar or ten or hundred dollar or fifty dollar, you think it's too small, but you make a lot of change in the program, you know. Thanks a lot, I appreciate it. Thanks for all the people donated. Follow me on my Patreon, uh, all the social media, because sometimes I don't post everything here. Let's get started. So now, the question is here, uh, the pie chart, so this is called pie chart. 72, 54, um, 144, and this is 90. You see this 90 degrees, 72, 50, 144. Now, what do I want? Let's see, uh, show the non-managerial workforce employee by the factory. Oh. So this is non-managerial, means it's not by the manager, it's not part of like people fitting, uh, draftsmen, clerks, and the mechanical. So this is not more of the manager, you know, it's just normal work. You know what I'm saying? It's hands-on or something like that. So now, what do they want us to do? They say here, uh, write down uh, the fraction of the non-managerial workforce, that's a clerks. Oh, so we want to get the clerks. Clex. So this is very easy, you know what I'm saying? So now, if they say Clex, remember this is in degree. So what is the total degree? The total degree of a cycle 360. Yeah? You know what I'm saying? You see, so I'm going to take this 72, divide by 360, and then multiply. That's all. I don't have to multiply by anything because they say write the fraction of the Clex. Oh, of the Clex. So if the fraction of the Clex, they didn't say find the number of, okay. So now this is easy. So what I'm gonna do, I'll say, okay, the fraction of the clex. So I'll say, okay, so what is a clex? A clex is 72. So so now let me ask something. So no, no, let's go. So 72 and then over 36. Why are we over 36? Because this is degree. But if it was percent, we take whatever we have over by 100. Because the total of percent is 100. But for this case, it's degree. So now they say find the fraction of it. So what I'm gonna do is simplify. If we simplify, this is going to be one put in the calculator, this is going to be five. So this is one over five. Oh, so the fraction of the clerk is one over five. You know what I'm saying? Now let's go for the second part. So they might say find the feeder. So for feeder, I'm going to say one for four divided by 360. And then the fraction. Okay? Now let's go for the second one. They say if they, so now one thing here, they did not give us the total number. Of all these people, like mechanics, clerk, feeder, and draftsmen, you know what I'm saying? They only give us their degree, their degree. But I wouldn't know how many are clerks, how many mechanics, how many feeder, and draftsmen. I wouldn't know what is the total and number of each separately. Now, for the second card, they say if there's 20 mechanics, oh, so now we have mechanics already. We have mechanics already. So I'm going to say, oh, so if you have mechanics already, I'm going to say mechanics. What is a mechanics? A mechanics is 20 equal, okay? And then if you have mechanics, and then we're going to say, what is a mechanics? A mechanics is 90. So say 90 degree over, over 360, we know, because this is about degree. And then multiply. Do we know total number? We don't know. Because if you take whatever we have, like a mechanic divided by 36, you must multiply by total. So this X represents the total number of all these together mechanics, like draft mean and feeder. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm going to do here is just simplify, okay? By 90, it's half 1. By 90, how many 90? 36 there? 4. So I can cross multiplication here. 4 times 20 equal to 80 because I have to cross multiplication. Or I can rewrite here. So I have a 20. 20 equal to what to? 1 over 4, 1 over 4, but x. You know what I'm saying? So now how I'm going to get x is very easy, man. I can cross multiplication. I say 4 times 20 equal to 8. So 80 equal to x. Okay. So what does x represent? x represents the number of all these guys here. The clerks, mechanics, feeder, and draftsmen. Oh, so X represent everything. Okay. So, and according to the question, they say, if the training mechanics, how many? If the training mechanics, how many? Uh, how many, uh, many non-managerial employees are working in a factory? 
So X represent the whole guys work in this factory. You know what I'm saying? So we're done with the question. But sometimes, so they may not ask like this all the time. They may ask, for example, uh, now, if we know the total number of people working uh, in a factory, let's say find how many draftsmen work in there. Remember, they only give you degrees. So now, we're going to say here, we're going to say, okay, it's not part of the question, right? The question we're done. So they say find the draftsmen. I'm going to say, okay, my draftsmen is 54 degree over 36 because the total degree is 3. 60 degree and then you multiply by the total number of people working in the factory which is 80. You know what I'm saying? So you can put that in the calculator, see 80 over 360, so subtraction 80 over 360 and then you multiply 54 excuse me. It's not so put in the calculator. So put in the calculator so okay so this is gonna be 54 which is 4 over 360 and then times by total number of whatever, oh, 12. Okay, excuse me, so draftsmen, they're 12 people. The 12 people with the draftsmen. Okay, what about theta? How many theta? Theta is gonna be one for four over 36, so this is draftsmen, D. Okay, for theta, oh, so for theta, what is a theta? Theta is equal to one for four over 360, multiplied by, what is the total? Total is 80. So you have to, you know, you have to multiply by the total to get a certain number for whatever you're looking for. So now it's going to be uh, uh, 144 over 360. So here you can just change the 144. And this is going to give a 32. Oh, so now for theta, 32 people. Okay, so that's how you do. You know what I mean? But that's not part of the equation. Our answer is going to be uh, for the first one, which is uh, the fraction non managerial workforce for clerks is, uh, uh, we had it already, which is one over five. This one right here. Okay. And the total number of people working in the factory is, is added. So if you go to the option, it's option number one. So that's how you do this question. Yeah, thanks a lot of your time. And I see you so. You know what I'm saying? Look, man, I believe in learning from how to do things. If it's time, make sure you subscribe and you know, you can just go and do donation to our Patreon page. I have a Patreon, I have a GoFundMe. You know what I'm saying? I have all the means of donation because to make this project going, you know, any type of donation, the little that you think is too small for you, it could make a lot of change. And thanks a lot for all your time, you know subscribe don't forget share this video circulate to a lot of people you know because the meaning of this project program is to help as many as we can okay it's not only for one page or two because you might think it's not helpful for you but for somebody next out there it could be very very helpful so thanks a lot of man and you know any donation that you did to me it means so much i appreciate man it means a lot go to our patreon page go to our uh go find me because we need to have a you know, a lot of things we need to put them together, like camera, you know, and a lot of equipment so that we can improve on, you know, a lot of angle, a lot of aspects of these projects, you know. Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate it and I love you. Peace and love. Bye. You know, this is one of my children of knowledge. You know, she wanted to introduce herself. What's your name? Could you please introduce yourself? My name is Camille. Yeah. Yeah, China will buy it. China will buy it. China will buy it just everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is my other son. His name, what's your name? Matthew. Matthew, yeah, he's a eleven man. So his aim is to score distinction, right? So you promise, I want you to score distinction this time. And what's your name? Joshua. Joshua, well, how much you promise me to score this time? Distinction. <laughs> distinction. <laughs> yeah, so China will buy it just everywhere, man. China will buy it everywhere. China will buy it everywhere. Everywhere. Huh? John exactly. Yeah. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. If you had to give advice, which advice would you give to the people? 
or two to six. Trust damage. <laughs> why, why would they trust me? No, because it's really good. They actually has helped a lot. Uh, first, I, I redid first year for maths. It was my own fault, but also I didn't know a lot of the work. And Hamish said lots of hard questions, and it's it's demotivating sometimes to do the harder stuff. You like, just want to get done, but it's mm. the hard stuff that makes you realize the easy stuff is easy. I'm a mother,